Dr. Sacchetti, line one, please. Dr. Peter Sacchetti, line one. Admissions. Admissions, line two, please. Admissions, line two. Hi everyone, and thank you for participating in the Sentinel Intro Feeding Pump Training. This is Rebecca from Encino, and today we're going to show you the function of the Sentinel Intro Feeding Pump. The Sentinel Pump is very popular for its reliability and especially for its ease of use. If you ever forget how to use the pump, the directions are right here on the side. On the front of the pump you can see the display is large enough to see from across the room. Infusion rate is displayed on the left and volume delivered is displayed on the right. Pump surfaces are smooth for easy cleaning. The keypad is simple with large buttons. The rotor is clover shaped making it easy to verify that the pump is running. Visual indicators and alarms are on the lower left. The back of the pump also has some nice features. The power cord is permanently attached so you don't have to search for it. The cord can be wrapped around this spool during patient transport so no one trips over it. The pull clamp is sturdy and simple to operate. There is a holder for the distal tip cap so you have a place to put the distal connector when it's disconnected from the indwelling tube. Remember not to place the distal tip here without the cap. Food can leak into the cap holder and be very difficult to clean. Remember to replace this cap every time you replace the set. The handle is molded into the pump case so it can't break off. Before we install the set, here are a few safety features. They have the latest safety spikes for Nestle and Abbott pre-filled formulas. They have IV caution tags. The distal connectors have rounded ridges instead of sharp ones for reduced wear and tear on indwelling tubes. The secure lock notch connects to the indwelling tube cap for extra security. Now let's install the set. Close the roller clamp. Hang the bag set on the IV pole and fill with formula or spike a pre-filled formula container and hang it on the IV pole. Seat the drip chamber and open the roller clamp to prime the tubing. Close the roller clamp once all of the air is expelled from the tubing. Pull the tubing under the rotor and seat the adapter in the locator shelf. Secure the tubing behind the tubing hook. The tubing hook is a nice safety feature to reduce the chance of accidentally pulling the set out of the pump. You have to pull the tubing in two different directions to remove it from the pump. First upward and then downward. Now we will program the Sentinel pump. Programming it for a continuous feed is a simple one, two, three. Press on. Press the up or down arrows until the desired infusion rate is displayed on the left. Press run stop. That's all you need to do to start feeding a patient. If you have to feed the patient a set dose or for a certain length of time, you have the option to set a dose limit. Let's say you need to deliver 60 mils per hour for 10 hours. The dose limit would be 60 times 10 or 600 mils. Press on. 
press up or down arrows until the left display reads 60. Press set. Press up or down arrows until the right display reads 600. Wait for the right display to flash, then press Run Stop to start feeding. As the formula is delivered to the patient, the volume delivered will be increasing in the right display. The display is large and bright so as you're walking past the room, you can easily check the infusion rate or volume infused. If at any time you have to pause the feeding, you simply press Run Stop. The pump will pause for two and a half minutes and then alarm. Press Run Stop again to resume feeding. What's great about the Sentinel pump is every time you shut the pump off and turn it back on again, it retains all of the program settings, so there is no need to reprogram even in the event of a power failure. A few other things to point out. We recommend that the pump is always plugged in when feeding a patient or not. That way it's always fully charged and ready to go. When fully charged, the pump does have a minimum 6 hour battery life at 125 mils per hour. The battery is intended to allow for patient transport or as a power failure backup. The pump should be cleaned with soap and water on a damp cloth. Never spray the pump with any liquid. The drop sensor should only be cleaned with a soft cotton swab dipped in isopropyl alcohol. Let's cover a few other items you may run into. You may want to clear some of the settings. To clear volume delivered prior to starting the next dose, but keep the infusion rate and dose limit settings, press Run Stop to pause the pump, hold the clear button until the right display reads zero. Press Run Stop to resume feeding. If you need to clear all of the settings because the pump is going back into storage or being used for a different patient, press Run Stop to pause the pump. Hold the clear button for about 5 seconds until the left display changes to 5. Dose Check is a history button that tracks accumulated volume infused since the history was last reset to zero. Some facilities choose not to use this function, but it's up to your nursing or medical director whether you want to clear history monthly, weekly, daily, or not at all. Even when the program settings have been cleared, the history will remain. To clear the history, press Run Stop to pause the pump, press Dose Check, hold down the Clear button until the right display changes to zero, wait for the right display to blink, then press Run Stop to resume feeding. Let's discuss the Sentinel Pump Alarms. Visual indicators are on the lower left. The leftmost is the battery indicator. This will be illuminated when the pump is operating on battery power. If this indicator light flashes accompanied by two beeps, the pump must be plugged into an AC outlet within 15 minutes. 
second from the left is the AC plug indicator. This will always be illuminated when the pump is plugged in, whether the pump is on or off. Third from the left is the occlusion empty alarm. The flashing indicator is accompanied by a continuous beep and the display will flash. The cause will be one of the following. Pathway occluded. Container empty. Drip chamber improperly installed. Pump inactive for over two and a half minutes. Last is the dose complete alarm indicating that the program dose limit has been reached. The feeding stops. The flashing indicator is accompanied by two beeps and will repeat every two and a half minutes. Volume infused must be reset to zero before feeding can resume. You may also get a loud three-tone beep alarm with flow fast in the display. Two things can cause this. Flow rate is faster than expected. Drop sensor is blocked for over six seconds. The drop sensor is where the drip chamber is inserted. To reset alarms, press run stop to stop the alarm, correct the alarm condition, press run stop to resume feeding. Thank you for your attention and I hope you will soon appreciate the simplicity and reliability of the Sentinel Enteral Feeding Pump.